here to, to discuss a uh, very important issue, uh, not just for the city of St. Louis, but for the entire St. Louis region. Addressing the issues of policing, crime, and punishment raised in the Michael Brown shooting involves a complex set of factors. It includes addressing chronic unemployment. So Governor Nixon's announcement last week of 2,000 summer jobs was very important. We are working on a second initiative to teach, train, and connect African American adults to existing jobs. It also involves judicial fairness and not using the courts as back doors uh, to tax poor people. So a few weeks ago, we announced that we were dismissing arrest warrants and giving new court dates to tens of thousands of people facing minor tra traffic offenses in the city of St. Louis. It also includes uh, that complaints against police officers are handled objectively and fairly. So we, we are working with Alderman Terry Kennedy on legislation to create a civilian oversight uh, for those complaints. We have also seen the mistrust that can be created when the police department does not reflect the diversity of the neighborhoods and the communities that they serve and protect. For St. Louis, this is a good news, bad news story. Minorities make up 34% of our police department at a time when our city's minority population is at 47%. On the other hand, our last two police classes were half African American. So Chief Dodson is making a lot of great progress in that regard. This is an important issue in a number of ways. There are more people, the more people in a neighborhood that have trust in police officers to protect them, the better they will, they will work to root out criminals and to reduce crime. The better police officers understand the dynamics of the neighborhoods they patrol, the better they will be at differentiating the good guys from the bad guys. So it is important that we work to create a more diverse police force. But it is also important that we do not, we do not do that by cutting corners and without reducing the quality of the officers that we hire. And that's what we're here to, to talk about today. Public Safety Director Rich Gray has been working diligently to create and to recruit, to, to recruit new applicants. You'll hear more about his efforts in just a moment. But he will also have some new help. The city is entering into an agreement with the Ethical Society of Police to recruit, prepare, and mentor prospective minority candidates for careers in public safety, particularly the police department. We will pay African American police officers to work while they are off duty to identify potentially quality recruits, convince them that being a police officer is a good career, and prepare them to go through our rigorous hiring process in the city. Some of the recruits will make great police officers. Others may be better suited for other public safety jobs like with fire, fire department, uh, corrections department, city marshals, or the park rangers department in the city of St. Louis. The initiative will cost approximately $50,000 and that money will come from the city's Prop S money for public safety. You'll soon hear details from the Eth Ethical Society of Police on how they will go about doing this. But I want to say this about the officers who are here today and to the rest of our police department. I am very, very proud of the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. Our officers are dedicated to making our neighborhood safer and to serving all the people in our city diligently. They have my full support. They have faced a lot of anger and verbal abuse in recent demonstrations. They have shown great poise, great restraint, great professionalism. But it is not fair for police officers to bear the brunt of the anger. All of us in this region have the responsibility for the conditions and underlying issues that have caused the high level of emotions and anger following the events in Ferguson. We all play a role in making St. Louis a more fa fair, a more just region, not just the police officers. So today is a step forward. It's just one step forward, but I think it's a very important step forward. I want to thank everyone here today for their involvement in, in helping bring this together and for what they're doing uh, in this regard. I want, to thank, uh, I want to thank all of you for your dedication in making St. Louis a safer place and making it a more fair um, government as well. It is now my pleasure to introduce uh, Sergeant Darren Wilson of the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department and President of the Ethical Society of Police. 
Sergeant, thank you and welcome. Thank you. thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you everyone for coming here. Thanks for having us and uh, we welcome you. Um, as the mayor indicated just previously, yes, the Ethical Society of Police, we're actually glad, we're really glad to be a part of this initiative and spearheading it. Uh, this is something that uh, both my Vice President Andre Smith and I have developed in January this year. We ran it as an informal pilot program where we have mentored and solicited many African American applicants or pr prospective applicants for the police department um, so, as, so we could mentor them and train them and encourage them to apply for jobs in law enforcement. Uh, we ran this for several months. We started with about 10. We were only able to pretty much endorse two to kind of let you know uh, the dynamics of the program and what we're looking for as far as the caliber and quality of applicants that we feel comfortable endorsing. So we wanted to definitely thank the city of St. Louis, the director of public safety for entering to, to, into this partnership with us as we look to continue this on and make this a perpetual partnership to see what we can do to increase the amount of quality African-American police officers, not only with uh, the city of St. Louis Police Department, but also employees, as the mayor indicated, with other departments in public safety within the city of St. Louis. So um, again, it's a lot of work to be done. Um, I can give you the intricacies of the program as we progress and proceed fur further with this forum, uh, but just for an introductory and start you know, of the program, what we're doing, just wanted to give you that brief introduction. I thank you again for having us and for this partnership, working well with everyone, and we look forward to working with you and speaking with you in the future. Thank you. Good morning, and thank you for being here. One of the initiatives that I was given when <clears throat> I first took a, uh, this position was to work towards increasing minority participation across the public safety division. Uh, I have been blessed to be able to be in a position where I have great leaders that are running uh, the divisions that I have that understand what we're trying to accomplish and do that. So in order to get this task done, we've been able to focus on several areas. As I mentioned once before in the past, we made an effort to go to Arkansas Pine Bluff to make sure that they understood that it's important for us to find minority candidates that are qualified to be able to work in the city of St. Louis. We did that going after uh, making sure that recruits knew, recruits knew that we had both fire, police, building division. All of those divisions are important to us to make sure that we're finding the qualified candidates that can come here and be a part of our dynamic city. So we're excited about the opportunities we have. As we look at our police department, in the last two classes, as the mayor stated, we've been at 50% minority participation. We've not lowered any standards. We continue to maintain an incredibly high standard for our police department. But making this program that we're talking about today work for the public safety division was one of my goals. We're making sure that any candidates that participate in this program will be able to find a position within the public safety division, whether it be in the correction division, whether it be in the fire division, whether it be in the marshals. So we are work reaching out to find qualified candidates to continue to make sure that the city of St. Louis offers the diversity that reflects the city itself. With that being said, I would like to now bring on Adolphus Pruitt to come and chat a little more. Good morning. Um, it's interesting that the issue of diversity within public safety period and especially within police departments has really um, become a point of focus throughout this region. The fact that the city of St. Louis and the Ethical Society have partnered to address that issue in a way like no one else has in this region is extremely important and beneficial to what we all are trying to accomplish here in, in St. Louis. You know, it, it's a fact that the program, I think, is going to be one of the most successful efforts at recruiting and retention of African Americans <laughs> in the police department than we've seen in this region in a long time, and as I hope and our intent to push the rest of the region 
to follow suit, follow the footsteps of the city of St. Louis and make the same efforts. The, the statement of we can't find them no longer is applicable in the St. Louis region. The statement should be that with the Ethical Society and working in partnership, we can find qualified African Americans to fulfill any position in public safety, whether it's police, fire, correctional division, or anything else. And I think what's going to happen is we're going to demonstrate that over the next few months with the work that the Ethical Society and the city has, has undertaken. And we cannot overstate the fact that, listen, it, it took um, Mayor, let me say it this way. You know, a lot of people talk about a lot of stuff and give lip service to a lot of things. In this particular instance, Mary, you put your money where your mouth is and you, and you stepped up to the plate and done it in a, in a great way and you need to take credit for it and, and we salute you for it. Uh, the, the time for bickering, the time for not being able to sit across the table and have dialogue to resolve the issues in this community and in this region, those days have to stop. We have to be able to sit and discuss and be creative and come up with solutions to all our problems. And Mayor, I'm glad you took the first step in doing that, especially as it relates to diversifying police departments, not only in St. Louis, but throughout the region. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I am Senator Jamila Nasheed, uh, representing the 5th Senatorial District, that's J-A-M-I-L-A-H-N-A-S-H-E-E-D. Uh, let me first and foremost thank each and every one of you for coming out this morning. It's election day, and I know you guys are looking at the polls and saying who's coming out to vote. However, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't thank uh, the mayor, uh, as well as the uh, public safety director, Mr. Gray, and the chief for stepping up to the plate and uh, doing what is needed here in the city of St. Louis, and that is to cultivate diversity within uh, the public safety uh, department. I can tell you this here. When I uh, championed the cause uh, for local control, I had no clue what the outcome would be. But I can tell you I am not disappointed, no shape, form, or fashion. Uh, with the uh, talk of uh, more minorities uh, within the police department is something that is past overdue. I would like to see uh, the uh, department start from scratch and possibly open up a charter school uh, where we can begin to have uh, young men and women who really, really want to get involved in law enforcement uh, to start at, such, at an early age. So I'm going to uh, talk with uh, the uh, chief and the mayor and begin to figure out how we can open up a charter school uh, specifically targeting uh, <clears throat> public safety. And I will also, I'd like to say to, to the, the mayor as well as the, uh, the chief that anything I can do on the state level uh, to help uh, move this city forward, we have a long process ahead of us and we have a long way to go when it comes to uh, reducing the amount of murder, the murder rate. Crime is down and I would uh, like, again like to thank the chief for that. But we do have a long way to go and we are committed as elected officials to, to do all that we can to make this city a, a place where you can play and be safe and, and, and raise your children without having to uh, keep them in the house all day out of fear of a drive-by shooting. Uh, so with that, I would again like to uh, thank you, uh, the mayor, and I'm working with you 150% for, uh, for, from now until I'm uh, not elected anymore. <laughs> all right, <laughs> thank you, Senator. And I, I wanna make sure that uh, you, you know who is all up here uh, this morning. Uh, I think the, uh, the fact that we're all standing up here together, working together for something positive for the community is, is a great thing. And, and in order to really make a difference on the issues we're talking about, particularly racial disparities in our community, it takes a lot of work uh, and it takes a lot of collaboration and commitment. And we have Richard Gray, who's uh, my uh, Director of Public Safety for the City of St. Louis. We have, uh, we have uh, uh, Dale Glass, who is our Commissioner for uh, for uh, uh, the, the jails, the corrections, uh, who's with us. We have uh, Sergeant Darren Wilson, who's president of the Ethical Society. We have Senator Jamila Nasheed, the Senator of the City of St. Louis. We have Chief uh, Sam Dotson, of course. We have Adolphus Pruitt from the NAACP. We have uh, Phyllis Young, uh, who is an alderman, of course, and uh, the chairman of Public Safety Committee and the Board of Aldermen. And we also have Andre Smith, who's vice president of the uh, Ethical Society as well, and then we have 
course, Chief uh, Dennis Jenkerson at the Fire Department. So I just want to thank all of you for uh, your great leadership, for your commitment and involvement in, in pulling this together. We have a lot of work to do uh, to make it happen. And as the, the sergeant talked about, the, the Junior Academy program, the Police Athletic League is another example where we, uh, police officers volunteer their time to mentor students, uh, kids around athletics. We also do basketball programs in our city's uh, recreation centers. But the basketball programs are not about sports. What they are about life skills. And so to participate in the basketball program, you have to go to a class on how to interview for a job, how to prepare for a job. So any interaction that we have with our police officers and the community leaves a positive, a positive feeling. So we're doing that in some very targeted neighborhoods. The basketball program, for example, is a partnership with um, the Parks Department, and we're in rec centers in the neighborhoods where we see those challenges. So those things are happening every day. This is a great example of how to get to the, those late teens and early 20s that are looking for a job and get them acclimated to, to what law enforcement or public safety or fire can be like. So those things happen every day in all parts of the city right now.